I recently posted this image on Instagram and I got the question how I did the grass. If it's a 3D model or if I did that in Photoshop and I realized that the technique that I'm using is not so common but very useful because it's really simple and can save a lot of time in your 3D and post-process workflow. Actually, the purpose of this image was to show the stone from Wildstone Company on the wall. And I always try to be efficient and get the result in the shortest time. So I usually starting with a reference image and I found this nice picture on the Pinterest that combines both the simplicity of the scene and architectural value of the visual design. So this gave me the basic idea of the scene and I started to play with the model and give to the image my own signature. And after 15 minutes of work, I got this result from which I felt potential. I am a little bit oversaturated with some obvious sunny scenes that looks like from the magazine and I decided to stay with some natural overcasted weather and bring some life to the picture with a warm line behind the window and green foreground with the grass and some cluster of plants. And not to model the grass, I decided to use projection of grass from HDRI image directly to the plane object with the help of Corona Shadow Catcher material. So as you can see, our scene is almost done and all we have to do is just to add grass to our plane in the foreground. And if I will rotate with the scene a little bit, you can see that everything is modeled just for our camera view. So the scene is very simple. And now where magic happens, you can see here we got two HDRI light materials. First of them is used for our Corona sky for the lightning of the whole scene. And second one will be used for our grass in combination with Corona shadow catcher material. So I will add here shadow catcher material, double click on that, choose the mode to environment and apply our HDRI here. And now what I have to do is just to apply our shadow catcher material to the ground. And now I will render my scene again. So as you can see now, the grass from HDRI is actually projecting on the plane. And to make the effect even more realistic, I just added the batches of the grass in the edge of the soil to make a better transition between the soil and the grass from HDRI. So I hope you like this tip and don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you want to know some more information about Corona Shadow Catcher, check the links below the video. And that's all for now. This was Jirka from Revo.com.